Hey guys, this is Rai123, and we're here for another Roblox scripting tutorial, and today's suggestion comes from Laura, and she would like to know how to make a GUI. Um, yeah, and what she actually, she later explained that what she would actually like is a GUI that teleports us to a certain location, so it will kind of be going off of what we learned last time, but let's go ahead and jump into the studio. Okay guys, so here we are in the studio. So first things first, um, for the sake of the GUI that we're going to be working on, go ahead and rename your gray spawn point to spawn location 1, just so that our script can distinguish between which spawn location it wants to use so um, first thing you're gonna get is a screen GUI and put it into the starter GUI service this means a starter GUI service basically um, it's like the starter pack it places um, GUIs into people when they spawn so inside the screen GUI though we're gonna put a text button and um, we're only going to change one property of it for now down here in the text category we're going to change the text from button to teleport to spawn we'll get into a lot of the other properties later right now we just want it to look like that so next inside of your text button put a script and we're going to put set up a few variables so spawn is um, game dot workspace dot spawn location one this new IntelliSense thing is the best thing I've ever seen put in the Roblox studio it's so beautiful the second one we're gonna need is our player variable so that we can get our player and to get that we're gonna say script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent so that there's four parents that's quite a bit but trust me it'll work um here let me move my headset there we go um next we're going to need to set up our function like always and now I can't my freaking there we go function let's just say on click like usual there we go then we're gonna set up our connection statement so script dot parent dot mouse button one down um dot connect is that how you spell connect nope there we go that should work mouse button one down dot connect on click let me just check it against my other one to see if it looks the same okay and as you saw there there's only one line of code we actually have to put in the button the hardest part seems to always be setting up what's not actually part of the button but it's just player dot character semicolon move to and then in parentheses you're gonna say spawn dot location sorry guys it's actually dot position so now we can go ahead and test I've done this video like six times so maybe if it'll actually work for us now so I'm gonna come over here jump on our teleporter we made last time and click it and there you go we go back to the spawn so just so you can see that again there you go and actually if you want you can change where this teleports you to anywhere just by 
having it teleport you to another block by changing the variable a little bit like you could have it teleport you on the trampoline or you could just enter a set of coordinates but unless you're experienced scripter you probably don't know how to do that but we'll get in uh, vector threes and stuff later so anyways guys thanks for watching that's it for this tutorial um please be sure to subscribe for more leave a like down below if you enjoyed comment a new script idea for next time and i'll catch you guys later goodbye